controversial aerial surveillance program could return to Baltimore. The police department shut down the operation of the surveillance plane in 2016 after public outcry. WJZ is live. Abba Joy Burnett explains why this program may now be coming back. Abba Joy? Well, Mary, when the police department authorized the company to take surveillance images of the city of Baltimore back in 2016, both the citizens and the mayor were left in the dark. But in the coming weeks, a public hearing could determine if this controversial program could make a comeback. Some dubbed it a spy plane, a Cessna that flew above Baltimore and recorded video that could allow police to follow suspects on the ground. The police endorsed program drew condemnation in 2016 and now. But in a city where hundreds were murdered last year, some residents say the program could make criminals think twice. It will send a signal that somebody is watching you. Um, a lot of people have problems with the, with the cameras, but there are cameras everywhere we go. City police say if citizens approve, the plane could fly again. City council has scheduled a hearing for next month, but even the chairman of the Public Safety Committee isn't convinced the technology works. I think that the city could use this money to give the police department the basics of technology, but more importantly, we could use that uh, $2 million or whatever is eventually going to cost us to invest in things that we know will prevent crime. The ACLU says the technology is the equivalent of having a police officer follow every resident every time he or she exits the building. Baltimoreans are no strangers to surveillance. There are more than 700 city watch cameras. Attorney Adam Ruther says one's right to privacy isn't always cut and dry. If you're just walking on the street, you don't really have what the government or what the constitutional law talks about as a reasonable expectation of privacy. That's the real hallmark here. Is what the government would do in taking these sorts of surveillance footages, uh, footage a, an invasion of a reasonable expectation of privacy that anybody in the community has? And it's not clear just how effective this program was, but the city police department said it helped them to solve at least one crime. That public hearing will be on October 16th. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.